بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد الحمد لله سجير بسم الله سبحانه وتعالى that he allow us to come to such a gathering where is talking about the purification of the heart and rectification of the heart and the rectification of your actions and your behavior and the inner I mentioned before to understand your inner realities the person goes through uh, uh, within his heart. So the topic that I have is uh, in in words is Gosha Nashi. There's one ter this term that is used amongst amongst the Sufi, amongst the people who involve in Tazkiyah and Tasawwuf. It means a uh, paradox of uh, uh, solitude. This paradox of solitude mean isolating uh, one uh, oneself from the dunya and connecting himself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is, there is isolation amongst different nations, different people where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have rejected them. Uh, for example, the monks, right? They also isolate, but due to their, because of their own desires, they're on the wrong path and trying to achieve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the wrong path, and that is totally denied. But there is there's seclusion that the person, person takes w uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Sufi also take for, uh, uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rectify themselves. So there's seclusion of two types that I mentioned. As we know, our heart is like a sponge. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that, that every person has, uh, has, uh, uh, has a delicate meat in their, body, in, their, uh, in their body. If it stays good, if it stays good, physically and spiritually, the person stays uh, perfectly fine. And if it, if it gets corrupted, if it gets corrupted uh, spiritually and physically, even doctors, they say that if, if heart is dead, if something's wrong with the heart, his entire body is disturbed. But if spiritually his heart is uh, disturbed, then Allah SWT mentioned, then his heart is stained and they have, uh, they have no way of guidance. And if they keep staining their heart, right? And he mentioned there's four types of heart. There's a heart of a believer, of a mu'min. It shines like the lamp. And there's a heart of, uh, of, uh, of a non-believer. And there's a heart of, uh, of, of a munafiq. And there's a heart of person who's in between. You know, who's in between. He has faith, right? Munafiq, he denies, you know. It was asked by one, one of the imam. Uh, he asked him, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the statement is true. The statement is true. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it, it's, it's, uh, uh, what is that statement that is spoken, uh, 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 is spoken truth? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it's, it's false. It's, it's, of the, it's a statement of the, uh, of the, uh, of the munafiq in time of the Prophet sallallahu They said that we believe in you, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Munafiqun said that no, they are liars. Okay? So, so it's the heart of a munafiq and it's, it's the heart of a person who has hypocrisy plus he has faith. Okay? And, and they, they believe in, uh, in, in, in the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu but they also uh, get diluted by the society of, uh, uh, around them. So as I mentioned, the heart is like the sponge. If, they put in, if, you, put, if, you, if you put yourself in a, in a good environment, you, you will have those effects. If you put yourself in an environment, uh, in a corrupted environment, you'll be corrupted just like those people. Right? Person, a person does not have that control over them. Right? For this reason, uh, for this reason, Anbi alayhi salam, even uh, after them, the, the students, uh, the, the best of teachers, the best of students, the Sahaba, they learn, and then uh, and Salaf al Salih, and then go uh, uh, till this day, they they love this action of seclusion. They put themselves in isolated uh, is isolated places where they're not dealing with uh, with the worldly things but they only have uh, c communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they're constantly remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's what, that's what seclusion is and that's what, uh, that's what one, of, uh, one of the action that we have to uh, develop within us as well and, and, and as we, if, if, you look at, if you look at the uh, uh, pre, uh, uh, pre uh, before the Nabu of the uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he would run away from the people he would run away from the people and he would go into, uh, Ibn Arabi had mentioned that he would, run away, uh, he would run away from the people because he did not find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within them. 
because there's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not within them because of different corruption that is that, that is around them he would flee from them he would leave his businesses and he would leave the people and he would go into the mountains and he would go into the valleys and would pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till, till one day wahi came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam once the wahi came once the recognition proper recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came in him and when he found uh, found uh, found the path that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa, uh, wanted him to follow, then he came into the people, started rectifying them uh, by the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So once a person goes in seclusion, once he goes in uh, uh, you know, solitude himself, then he would find uh, with the proper intention. Intention is to what? To earn, uh, to earn uh, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to understand uh, who created me. What is the what is uh, what is that I, what is the purpose of uh, of my life in this? So in later so so the scholars they have uh, they have two views. One is the seclusion that the person does. You know he goes into the mountain and he leaves everything and he and he le uh, runs away from the uh, from the cities and the people, which Allah uh, which Rasulullah says Allah mentioned in the hadith in in near Qiyama, the uh, the best of uh, the richest Muslim, the person who's wealthy will be the person who just have sheep and he goes into the mountains and does the, does the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will be the best one and why, why, why does he go into the mountain? he said for, for, for his deen not for his pleasure, not for that he wants to run away from the people or he wants to run away from the corruption for, the, for, for his deen, so to protect his deen for this reason he goes okay? and, 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 uh, and, 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 and in Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also men mentioned there's people who are indulging in businesses they are doing this. Uh, they're they're selling and they're buying and they're indulging in their business, but uh, but but they're still in the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? So there's two things that we see. There's people who are busy in the business, but they still have constant remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Why they have constant remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, is because they fear that day. They fear the day of Qiyamah where their hearts and their and their eyes were turned uh, turned off when their eyes were turned over, right? All for this, day, uh, because of that day, they fear, but they constantly, uh, uh, they're working in this dunya, but they still have the recognition and the connection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is in a way of seclusion as well, that he's isolating himself, his heart from, from the people and has a constant remembrance. And how can the person could achieve, achieve this? It's, uh, uh, so, so the scholars they have, uh, of, of the civil have divided that this person uh, invested his time for 40 days in Khanqa in places where, uh, where, uh, where the rectification of his heart is taking place. The uh, uh, you know, he takes that time out because now we are, we are more uh, busy, we need to be more organized and we need to, have, we need, we need to make times for this reason in, a, in this way in this day and age would be just like how we have the league jamaat they go three days they go every month they go 40 days so for this the self same thing that you have to do they have to seclude yourself and isolate yourself for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rectify yourself and to get the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way you want yeah we, we on the daily on the daily basis we do pray our salah we do do our dhikr but uh, we, we do our dhikr uh, uh, even Rasulullah before Nabuwa, he was also praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was also, uh, also remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when he, uh, when he completely isolated, he was also had the remembrance among, uh, among the people. But when he isolated himself to really connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to understand the depth of his, uh, of his emotions, of his heart, and when he, once he did that, and that's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the nabuwa and, and of, uh, because, of this, uh, because of the hard time that he went through and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave, uh, gave him this for the struggle that he was going through and, and then we look into the life of Sahaba and they will enjoy these hours they will enjoy the hours they are, they are left alone there's no one around them, no, nobody's around them but they still have remembrance, they're still doing businesses but, once, but they left that time when the night comes the, when night would come, they would stand in in, uh, in tahajjud salah in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And uh, 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 there was uh, there's a story of Zainul Abidin uh, uh, radiyallahu an. He said uh, he was he w he became captive under uh, under uh, under the Khalifa at that time, uh, as as we know the history, and uh, the Khalifa at that time by the order of the Khalifa. 
uh, Abdul Malik bin Marwan, he put him in ca uh, captivity. He was in jail. And he wasn't just thrown into jail, he was chained. You know, his legs were chained and his hands were chained and his neck were chained. Right? And so he said, Imam Zori, he narrates and he said, I, uh, uh, one day I came to visit him. Because as you know, he was a teacher of many scholars. And so he said, I came to visit him and I saw his state and I became, uh, I became sad and I wish, in, uh, I wish in my heart, wish I was in his place and he was freed. I wish I was in his place, I was freed. So as you know, he, uh, they have connection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him ilham that, you know, that's what your student is thinking. He wishes that he's in your place, that he's, he's, he's in chain. Of course, any student would who has love for his teacher, who has love for al bayt of course, he's going to say that. He's going to have that thought. So he just thought this and he said that, he said, he said oh, oh, oh Zori, you think that I'm, uh, I'm cuffed, I'm chained. And you think that I have no control over? And he said, this is the moment I enjoy the most. He said, you think I'm in pain, but I'm, in, I'm, in, uh, I'm, in enjoy, I'm, I'm enjoying because I'm in seclusion. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, constantly, I'm constantly increasing my level in, uh, in, in hereafter. And, and he ordered the chain to, uh, to come off and that the chains, they came off. It was a miracle of uh, Zain al-Abideen, the chain came off of him and it fell, uh, fell onto the ground. And, and right after that, the chain came back, right back on him. And that was a miracle that he was, try he was trying to, so, so these people, they would look for these hours where they're, where they're left alone. Only, uh, they were left alone, there's no one, to, no one to bother them. And they will only connect with who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no other, no other gains. Because a person has a disease of showing off, right? He's, he's around people. And if he's around uh, people who have expensive, uh, expensive taste, he wants to have expensive taste as well. He wants to have expensive, uh, uh, expensive things, right? So, uh, so he ha and he wants to show off with it. So he has a disease of showing off riya. So, so, so in order to remove that, for this reason, the scholars have uh, recommend a person should go in isolation under under a sheikh and spend his time under a khanqa, now we can make it into a retreat form that he does for a uh, for few days, for a month, for, for, uh, for 40 days. And, and, for, uh, and, and we see that in Ramadan. Right? Once we finish uh, the 20 days of Ramadan and then when the last 10 days, we come into, uh, into isolation, just connecting ourselves and getting the final, uh, final touches that we have earned uh, the past 20 days. And, and to get the full connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person comes into the masjid and he dedicated and he comes in as a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he spends his time in seclusion. Then no one is distraction. He stops, uh, uh, he, he, become, he becomes so confined to the, uh, 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 to the masjid that he can't even step out. If he steps out for too long, his itikaf breaks. Or if he does certain things, his itikaf breaks. So he, and that's what, that's what, that's what we need to, that's what we need to uh, train ourselves is to go into the state that we find ourselves, just you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Rasulullah said, either, either you're amongst the people or either you're, uh, uh, either you're, in, uh, you're by yourself, you have to connect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nowadays we can't be by ourselves, right? We can't be, we can't be left alone, right? Reason is because we have this, uh, we got this disease with us. Which is, uh, uh, which is social media, phone, right? Uh, the, the child, he, would, he wouldn't, he's like, oh, let's, if they're going on a trip, he makes sure that he has his phone, right? And all of us, we make sure that we have our phone with us all the time, right? We don't care about anything, my clothes are packed or not, it doesn't matter, as long as I have my phone and my charger, that's it, right? And, and that's what's removing us even further away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's is removing us further away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's not being used for, it's, it's being used for entertainment, right? And it's being used for entertainment. So now what's a detox nowadays? Back in days, they were what? They were coming, they were going into the jungles, they were going into the forests and the valleys and connecting themselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we have to detox ourselves. Nowadays, I think we have to detox ourselves uh, as from the technology that we have in our hands. Right, to detox ourselves from that. Right? Just like a drug addict goes into a rehab, for, uh, 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 they said that no phones are allowed there, right? no TV is allowed. Right? And, and this, is, this is in the Western world, this is not part of Islam or anything. When someone who's a, uh, who's a drug addict, he goes through all these struggles 
for uh, for six months, for uh, for a year, depending on how long he needs the treatment. And but for but but when it comes to th that is just part of uh, part of dunya. But when it comes to deen, we don't really care. You know, we don't want to spend uh, if it, if his bayan bayan is little too long, we start you know Imam Sab cut it off. That's it. You know. So Imam says, gets threat, you know, just like, uh, that what's going on? He wants to take me off or what's, uh, so you know, that if, if something gets, uh, Imam said, uh, leads the salah a little too long, the next day we don't show up. He's like, you know, I'll pray, pray in the house. Because of pandemic, no one is coming to the masjid anyway. And now it just became worse and worse, right? And, and, and these distractions will be there, to, uh, uh, this distraction will be there. But it's our job, it's our responsibility to seclude ourselves and in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you, if, you won't, if, if you don't do it now, if you don't do it now and later as, as it grows, you know, then uh, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. He said that, you know, the time will come up to you. Or right? time will c catch up to you. Right? He said, Al-Mawtu uh, Ka'sun uh, كل الناس مشاربه والقبر دار كل الناس ساكنه. He said, death is like a cup of water. You have to drink it regardless of what. No one can live here without water. Right? Once in a day, you know, uh, he has to drink one glass of water at least. Right? He has to drink some kind of liquid. Right? And he said, he said, death is just class. Uh, is, is like a glass of water. You have to drink it regard, uh, uh, regardless of you don't want to, but you have to drink it. Right? And he said, he, said, yeah, uh, he said, the grave is like the house, it's like the place of residing. He said, one day uh, you have to live in it, regardless of what, whatever you do, but you have to live in it one day. So before that time comes, so seclude ourselves under mashayikh, under khanqa, under masajid, under ulama and great scholars that we have with us. You know, uh, seclude our, uh, our time and, give, uh, and go in isolation and really connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you really connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll be in dunya where I mentioned and said that they're, they're, they're doing, they have nothing to do with the business, but they're still doing businesses. But their heart is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're not being corrupted by the environment that is around them. At first, you have to make the effort and take time out for your kids, for yourself, for the teenage that, uh, that are around. Detox yourself from all these social medias. You know, and 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 and, and, and is, is a is a poetry of Imam Shafi. Is a because they cut in tuktas bil maali man talab al ula sahir al layali. Is if someone wants to achieve uh, something something good, some nobility, right? Someone wants to be a doctor, someone wants to connect himself with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, wants to be a scholar, whatever you want to do, right? Uh, whatever you want to do, you have to get up uh, get up in the middle of the night in the darkest hour. You have to get up in the darkest hour. And he said, if someone just, uh, just wants to do it by just wishing, and by wishing and you wish that I get this, wish I get this. He said that you're, you're running after something that is impossible. You'll never get it. And he said, and he said, he said, and he said, uh, and he said that you want, you want goodness, but you're still sleeping at night. Right? That you want goodness, you want to connect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to become rich, but you're still sleeping at night. You're still sleeping at night. That you're leaving those isolated hours and you're wasting your time. And he said, and he said that he said the treasures. Where do you find? Uh, where do you find expensive treasures? He said. Uh, he said uh, the person who hunts treasures and stuff, they have to dig deep into the oceans, and this is where they find treasures. You have to dig uh, in the darkness of oceans in order to find uh, in order to find uh, treasures. So same way, you have to exclude yourself in, in, in darkness, in loneliness, and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once you find Him, the diamonds that you would get, that you would, uh, it, it, it's, it's a saying that you would, uh, is it, uh, that you would, you would not trade, uh, trade for any kingdom. Is, is one scholar, may, uh, may, uh, he says in a poetry, that, you know, that if, uh, if they know the treasures that we have, the satisfaction that we have by connecting ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by learning the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said they would come in war with us. They would come in war with us. And, and they would try to achieve the, the treasures that we have. Even a person would, uh, would not have any wealth with him, 
but he's satisfied with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah give us the ability to understand and to allow us to, uh, uh, to isolate ourselves from all the diseases around us and isolate for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.